it is nighttime. Believe it or not, I've been here since nine o'clock this morning. And um, <laughs> well, let me let me tell you what happened. Hey, did the bop bop night driving thing let me tell you how my day went i get here at 0900 in the morning about 0930 in the morning i get here and it's supposed to be a dropping hook when i pull up in here get set up and everything the shipper was like oh well the trailer's in the door and it's about 80 percent yada 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 so i go okay 80 percent i'm like all right i was like ballpark it about how about how long is that so the dude told me he was like oh that's about maybe about an hour hour and a half i was like cool i looked at my time i was like all right i still got plenty of time to make it out to wisconsin i get the load there today and get it knocked out two hours later two hours later all right so two hours pass so i go in and i'll go uh, as i'm walking as I'm walking though, I walk past the trailer that they were supposed to be loading. And this is what happens when I'm walking past. Some, one of the yard guys must have pulled out a trailer and caught the, uh, caught the reefer unit and damaged it. So, you know, I looked at the yard guy, the yard guy looks at me, I look back at the yard guy again, and I look at, um, he looks at me, and he shoves his shoulders, he go, and I'm like, all right, I said, none of y'all know how this happened, because I, I can't, I can't uh, pull this trailer like that, and I says, uh, I, you know, I, I was thinking about getting some duct tape and shit and duct tape all that, but I was looking at that like, no, nah, I can't, I can't pull that like that. You know, that's, you know, DOT, that's waiting to, to pull me over. So I go to the office and I asked them, I was like, well, I said, the trailer that you got in the door, have you guys started loading it yet? No, 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 we, we haven't even started loading it yet. I was like, okay. No problem. And I was like, cool. It's a good thing that y'all haven't because I said, this is, you know, I showed them the picture and I said, this is, you know, this is the damage that was, that was done to the trailer. I said, now, mind you, it wasn't like that when I initially looked at it before. Oh, okay. No problem. We just going to have to swap it out. Then about two seconds right into his conversation, he goes, oh, you know what? Damn, we don't have no trailers. And I go, I said, yes, you do. I said, the trailer that I brought in is an empty trailer. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Because usually you guys bobtail in and all like that. I was like, well, no, I, I brought a trailer. What? And I said, y'all can swap out that trailer and put the trailer that I initially came in here with. So he goes, oh, okay, all right, cool. 
So now I was like, you guys gonna call me, right? To let me know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, a few hours later, a few hours later, a few hours later. Many hours later. So I go up in there and I go, I say, yo, is the trailer done? Oh, well, no, no, they, 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 they haven't started it, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, damn it, man. I was like, all right, how long is going to, how much longer is going to take y'all? So without even going in much detail on that conversation, I come back out and I look at my time and I go, you know what? It's, it's not even worth, even if I do get loaded, it's not even worth getting ready to run the load because by the time I run the load, I'm gonna have to eventually shut down early and that would have been a waste. I figured that I will let my hours that I have left, which is like about seven hours, I'll let that roll over to the hours that I'm getting back tonight, which is now. And I figured that I'll go ahead and uh, let it roll into that. It's only going to take me like maybe, I'm going to say 10 hours to get up to Money, Wisconsin. So about the time I get up there, I'll shut down. Um, I'll sh Well, not even shut down because I got to go to Egan, Minnesota and pick up a trailer that's at a yard. So I want to see if maybe the two hours that... Well, let me see. Nah, nah. I would go up to Egan later on. I mean, tomorrow night or tonight, rather. It's not even tomorrow night because tonight's Sunday. Tonight, rather, pick that up, drop that off. If I'm able to drop that off, then I will be able to get this scanned in that I'm doing now and the Egan uh, load scanned in for Monday morning. Unfortunately, the load that I'm picking up, uh, that I'm picking up from New Orm to bring it back down here to Ohio, I won't be able to get that scanned in. See, that totally, totally, totally messed up my my three days or two days of getting three loads scanned in before Monday because if I would have got this load on time, we got it up there. I would have got the Egan load today or set that up for this morning and drop that up at the yard and pick up the one at the yard and bring it back. I would have had that back Monday morning. But unfortunately, I had to switch it around and do the loads like how I'm doing it now. Now, I really hate night driving, but I do night driving if I have to up under the circumstances. So the guard or the yard guy came, knocked on my door, told me I had to move. So I was like, all right, you know, I'll go ahead and hook up to the trailer. I'll go ahead and hook up to the trailer and move it out the way. So I go in there and I was like, yo, I said the trailer should finally be ready now, right? I am showing you closed and ready to go, boss. Because you guys didn't call. I don't know how long it's been. Yeah, it's been a long time. When did you get your green light? I had the slightest idea. I was supposed to get a call. I was the dude just woke me up. The spotter did? Yeah. Then we may have tried to call and uh, didn't nah, get no, no, nah, nobody ain't tried to call tonight. I don't even have a phone number on here for you. That's why. I gave it to the guard. All right. Well, what's what's the uh, what's the uh, I forgot the damn trailer. Up. That they put in there in nine something nine two what nine two oh eight six thank you and he goes well yeah the, yeah the trailer's ready and uh ready to go 
And I was like, well, why you guys didn't call me or something like that? Oh, we didn't have your phone number. I was like, I didn't have my phone number. I was like, I gave my phone number at the guard house. They, they said they was going to call me. But I said, you know what? It doesn't matter. I mean, it's, it's cool how I got it set up anyway. So, yeah, this is how my day went. This is how my day went. I mean, this this is like the second time that I was held hostage at a shipper for some for some BS, man. You know, and these shippers and and these shippers and receivers really I don't know what to think. Maybe it's just another Murphy's Law type deal. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I must have did something in my past life to 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 get hemmed up like this. But as always, I will get detention pay for it uh, for this. Um, but it's just it's just messed up my 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 goal of you know getting the three scans in. This would have been at least at least 900 extra miles on my on my pay for this week so and that's about it that's that's uh that's my day yo thanks for hanging out with me right quick uh if you guys like comment subscribe share you know plus i am definitely going to need some coffee for tonight because like i said i am not a night driver but I'm going to have to. So if you guys don't mind, hook a brother up with some coffee. The link is in the description and in the comments. And until next time, I'll come at you guys with another video very shortly. Peace.